Welcome to MRCP UK. This video will show you how to apply for a PACES exam at an international centre. You can sit PACES provided you have passed your Part 1 exam and are within your Stage 2 eligibility period. Log into My MRCP UK via the MRCP UK website homepage by filling in your username and password. Click on the second option on the blue ribbon, Upcoming Exams. Choose the exam you want to apply for by clicking on the Apply button on the right-hand side of the page. Only the exams with open application periods will be displayed. If you try to apply for an exam that you are not eligible for, an error message will be displayed with a short message explaining why. This takes you to the application system where all your personal details are stored. Please make sure your email, telephone number and correspondence address are correct. If any of these are incorrect, click on the edit button on the bottom left hand side of the screen to change them. If the spelling of your name or date of birth is incorrect, please contact your college of entry. Remember to click cancel or save once you have checked your details. If you have previously provided us with your UK General Medical Council registration number, this will be auto-populated. If the GMC number needs updating, please contact your College of Entry. If you are not registered with the UK GMC, then this can remain blank. If you have a constraint on your practice with the UK GMC or your equivalent register, you need to fill in a declaration form. This is available on the website through the blue link and must be submitted online at the same time as your exam application. Please indicate if you're working or training in the UK. If you are training in the UK, please fill in the details of your stage in training and deanery. If you're working in the UK but not in training, please select other for year of training and no deanery for your deanery. The next stage is to fill in details of your proposer. This is your current or most recent educational supervisor or supervising consultant. If you do not have a supervisor, please give details of a senior colleague who supports your application. This section is important as it records your requirements for the exam day. Choose up to four locations where you would like to take paces. Please check the MRCP UK website for local prioritisation rules or any other allocation arrangement for each centre. If you are unsuccessful in securing a space in any of your chosen international centres, you will be able to reapply to sit in the UK. If you have a reasonable adjustment, please fill in the special arrangements section. Details from previous exams will not have been kept on the system. If you have a medical request, this will need to be backed up with evidence such as a medical report, which must be submitted to your College of Entry via email. All candidates applying to an international centre will receive a visa support letter by default. Choose a College of Entry. This is a college that you will be associated with, but your application will be processed by central office. The next step is to complete details of your work history in the past 12 months, where you will have interacted with patients. You will also need to declare hospitals where you sat a PACES exam or attended a PACES course in the 12 months prior to your PACES exam. Click more to add up to eight places to enable you to fill in your full history. Tick the box to indicate you have read the MRCP UK regulations, which can be accessed through the blue link on the MRCP UK website. It is important that you know about the type of ID you require for the exam, the dress code and behavior that is expected of you throughout the exam and how to withdraw if required. Please also tick the box to indicate you have read the data protection statement, which can be found in the highlighted web link. To pay, please select how you would like to pay. The options are cash, check or online. If you choose cash or check, you will automatically go to step nine of the application process. If you pay with cash, you will need to pay in person at the MRCP UK central office. If you are paying by check, please remember to write down your RCP code number full name and exam details on the back of the cheque. Once you tick the payment box and finish button to indicate you will pay by cheque or cash, this commits you to submitting the fee. If you decide to pay online, you will have the options of paying directly with a credit or debit card or through your PayPal account. You can pay by credit or debit card through PayPal as well. Once you have chosen how to pay, you will receive a summary of all of the details of your application. By ticking the box and clicking the final button, you will be committing yourself to apply and pay for the exam. 
Regardless of your choice of payment, you will receive an email confirming your application has been received. You do not need to pay until you receive confirmation from central office that you have secured a place. Instructions will be emailed on how to complete payment. For a summary of your exam application, go to the exam history tab and click on the exam that you applied for. An incomplete item will automatically appear for all international applications when your status is application received. Do not worry about this as there is no need to pay until your application is successful. Approximately two weeks after the application period closes, you will find out the outcome of your application. The next steps only apply to candidates whose applications have been successful. You will receive an email when your application has been successful. This shows details of your application. You cannot change your payment method after your application has been submitted. If you chose to pay online, this email will direct you to the exam history tab of your MyMRCP UK account to pay. The Pay Now option only appears if your application has been successful. Please select how you would like to pay online. Once you have selected your provider, you will be taken to a secure external payment page to pay the exam fee. This PayPal page is an example of this. You will receive a confirmation by email when you have paid. To check everything, go back to the exam history page. It will show you which exam you have entered and whether your payment was successful. Once you have been allocated an exam centre, you will also be able to view the centre name here as well. After payment has been successful, your exam space will be confirmed and you will receive your exam centre details at least six weeks before the exam day.